Hey, NorCal Carters, this is Jason. And in this quick video, we're going to walk you through the process of setting up the RLV TRZ0028 tire bead breaker. Now this bead breaker will work for both five and six inch diameter rims, and it will work for the four and a half fronts, 6.0 rears, 7.1 rears, and I believe also up to like a 10 inch rear as well. Um, but I don't have any dirt experience, so I don't know the actual sizing and dirt. And um, but there's four positions for the tool. So I have a couple of other videos that I've already done: mounting and mounting the tire on the rim, dismounting the tire on the rim, how to use the bead breaker tool. So this one's basically just the quick assembly of the tool. And yeah, I mean they're pretty straightforward. But um, if you've never done it before then it's probably going to take you a little bit of time. So that's why I'm doing the video. If it helps one person, then it's worth the time to do it. And if you appreciate our content on NorCalCarters.com, uh, we appreciate donations. So we do have a PayPal link in the description below if you want to donate to our project. And that just helps keep the motivation alive to keep pumping out videos. And maybe one day I'll actually get really good at producing them and make them nice with music, etc. But uh, for now, here they are, just kind of pumping them out. So you got the base of the RLV uh, tire bead breaker tool. So again, TRZ0028. Before you do anything, open the box. RLV supplies you with the parts list. So just look at the parts list. There's nothing on the back. Look at it. Make sure everything's there. So don't get started and then realize you're missing something. So when you, when you buy something from your supplier, uh, double check everything. So a lot. I mean, stuff can happen. Someone can forget a bolt or something, and that's going to ruin your day if you buy it. You wait three weeks and then decide to build it at the track. So check all of your parts. I'm a checklist guy because my memory is terrible. So I, I would actually sit there and kind of checklist everything off of here to make sure I got it all. So we're good to go. So you have the base. You have the upright support. So I'm not going to tighten anything on this because I'm going to put it back in the box and resell it. So it's just going to be a quick video. But you have uh, the bolts and the hardware here. This is, you're going to tighten these to about 15 to 18 foot pounds. So they're eight millimeter bolts. You don't need to you know put 50,000 pounds of torque through them. But uh, 15 to 18 pounds should be sufficient. They have nylocks. They have washers. So again, when you're going through the hardware kit, double check that all the bolts have washers and nuts. And these two bolts, you're going to want to firmly tighten so they don't spin. So again, you don't need to, you don't need to tighten the crap out of these things and wait for the metal to squeal. You don't have to do them that tight. But these need to be snug because that supports us upright. So again, 15 to 18 foot pounds. Next. I don't really know what to call this, so I'm going to kind of make it up. Uh, lever bar sliding adjuster support. I don't know. So this is going to slide over the top. Got to go over the plastic cap there. And there's a bolt with a wing nut. So the bolt with the wing nut has two washers. Go in the middle because I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Boom, right in the middle. Wing nut. Now again, this just needs to be snug. Um, you're not going to be able to really tighten this up enough to, to crimp anything, just finger snug. So that's not um, going up and down. So that's pretty good right there. Now you're going to have three plates. And these plates keep everything nice and aligned. So you're going to have the handle. You're going to have the actual bead breaking surface. Again, I don't know what to call this stuff. So I'm, as you can tell, I'm kind of just making it up as I go. And you're going to put that through there. So you have the lever on one side. You have... <laughs> what would one of my videos be if it wasn't um, a mistake? 
I'm going to take another bolt with washers, washers on the both outsides. Now this is going to go right there, and that's going to go right there. And again, I think I'm too worried about trying to keep the, everything parallel while I'm assembling it. Now these two bolts, you do not want to tighten the crap out of them. In fact, these need to spin freely. Otherwise, you'll put everything in a bind and you're not going to be able to use the tool properly. So these need to be tightened so where the night lock is engaged, but you do not want to pinch. You don't want to pinch that center bar and you don't want to pinch the bead breaking tool that hangs down. So snug these up so this is all free and can move, but there's not a bunch of slop. Now you have left two plates and two bolts. So two plates and the two plates at the bottom sandwich the bead breaking tool. See how it's sandwiched like that? There you go. And you're going to lift the rod or the lever. You have one bolt left. Now usually when I build stuff I have a bunch of spare parts, but this time I do not. So there you go. And again, these two bolts and these two bolts need to be snug, but not where these plates are pinched. Because if you pinch those plates, you can see it. That gets pinched. This is going to be pinched. This is going to be pinched. It's going to be very difficult to move this bar up and down. So there you have it. The assembly of the RLV TRZ0028 tire bead breaker tool. And again, snug, snug, finger tight snug. Night locks are snug, but you can spin the bolts. And you'll have an operating, very easy to use bead breaker. Thank you.